So the dice landed on fantasy, and the movie that we happen to pick, Billy just happens to own. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Starman Just Watched. I'm Devin, with me is Billy. Woo! And continuing off our random dice roll, <laughs> we're going to tweak it a little bit. It's yeah. a work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> but, we landed on fantasy and it's been a while since I've seen the King Arthur Legend of the Sword movie. Yeah. I remember it being actually decent, <laughs> or I liked it. Yeah. So, I suggested it, because it's still technically fantasy. Yeah. Mind. Oh, yes. Yeah. We got magical swords that do magical shit, yes. Mages. Mages, yeah, like, magic's involved, yeah. that's fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, Billy's like, oh, yeah, I have that movie. Actually, I gave you that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> All right, it's so a simple plot, Billy. Legend of King Arthur, there we go. The... Most modified Legend of King, King Arthur. Arthur there could ever be. Yeah. It is very loosely based off the source material. <laughs> Which I don't expect you to know, because I don't expect you to follow King Arthur. No. I, I just know King Arthur's and the Knights and the Round Table of Scalver, and that's... Yeah, yeah you got pretty much the gist of it. Yeah. There's a king, he got a sword, <laughs> he made the Knights of the Round Table, <laughs> some shit happened, he's King of England. Got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone got that? Got it. <laughs> we got the speed. <laughs> but yeah, like, this is a very loose telling. First of all, Merlin's not in it. Yeah, I, I was thinking that, like, Merlin's not even in this. I, I knew, I know Merlin. Yeah. Merlin's kind of a key player in this. <laughs> in the story. He's like the one who created... They say he created Excalibur, but he's yeah. also one who guided Arthur yeah, to like, be king. Also, the I didn't catch her name, but the witch girl, the mage girl. They just refer to her as a mage. They, okay. they, she never has a name. I actually looked, I just double checked the character list. Okay. So I was wondering if that's Morgana. And if that's the case, that is horribly inaccurate, because Morgana's a villain. Yeah. <laughs> But they could have just refer to her as Mage Girl. Yeah, as the Mage, a woman, yeah, working, a woman working for Merlin who supports Arthur and the Resistance. Yeah. So she's supposed to be Merlin's stand-in. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Merlin couldn't be here yeah. today, so, so you get this girl. So he sets with his apprentice, pretty much. <laughs> and. The plot by plot of this is basically, I love the opening montage of how quickly we get from baby Arthur to now Arthur. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Fastest montage of a single life you could ever have. <laughs> and he got the gist of it. He had a shit life and he grew strong because of it. Yeah, right? <laughs> Then we have the backstory, which was just watch my father and mom die. She yeah. was evil, traumatized me for life. life. So much that I forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable? Understandable, yeah. Like, the literal devil just came and killed my fi family. Yeah. <laughs> they wanna, you're probably gonna forget, the, wanna forget that. Your, your brain's probably gonna force that back into your br mind. Right, lock it up and lock it up and hopefully never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, our villain finds out that it's like, oh, your ultimate power is gonna come to an end if the king draws the sword yeah. that has now emerged. And go hunt the guy who's going to be king before he gets the sword. Yeah. It's basically the mission. Right? Which you failed horribly at. What was your plan here? Okay, I'm going to have every peasant come to the sword and pull it. Yeah. And then I'm going to publicly execute them if they pull it. Yeah. He passed out on the ground when he pulled it. I think that's a good time to end it. Is, yeah. <laughs> right, but, oh no, gotta make a spectacle. Love it, yeah. 
Like, I understand it in the sense of, like, storytelling and that, like, there's rumors and the prophecy yeah. of, like, the king will come and claim the sword. And if I show everyone how foolish that prophecy is, no one's going to challenge my power ever again. Right. <laughs> At the same time, if it's a prophecy, you should probably do everything you can to stop the prophecy. <laughs> Especially if you're also believing in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then our first escapes is execution. Meets up with the band of misfits, Just basically. <laughs> who, like, push him to use the sword. Think the Island of Darkness. The Island of Darkness. That's a great adventure. <laughs> basically, every starting RPG adventure ever is condensed in that one island. <laughs> yeah, everything's here to kick your ass. And we'll probably do so. Yeah. But if you can survive, you'll be so strong. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, we do a few, like, Sabotage the King missions. Yeah. And finally end up with an assassination attempt <laughs> that goes poorly. Because they know it's... Oh, yeah, I know. It's like, oh, it's a trap. We should just pull out. No, I got a grudge against that one guy, though. I really got to take this shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah. No, they're like, no, don't. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how is he still on the team after that? that right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's a loose cannon. Yeah. You gotta cut him loose. Yeah, right? Like... <laughs> no, 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 he took out two guys. Yeah? yeah. It's like, it was. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I hit the target. I also hit this other guy because he deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, cool. We gotta run for our lives oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> And then we get to the final confrontation, really. Yeah. Which, love the build up to that, where it's like, you have to be here by dawn and challenge me. Or else I'm killing, like, these two people you know. Yeah. <laughs> a boy and a girl. Because <laughs> I'm that evil. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you're evil when the guy can have women and children. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, now I'm going to do some drugs before I go into that. <laughs> 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 Literally! Hey, I'm not going to this over. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he takes the magical medicine that opens his mind. Yeah. But he is, like, the look and walk that he does. Stone out of it! He's just, like, walking there, his arms out, like, yeah, you want to come do something about me? <laughs> They take him to the king. King Fix is going to execute him. Giant snake comes in, ruins the party. <laughs> Arthur gets his sword back and proceeds to go to the final battle. Yeah. We have one epic final battle. Battle him, then back. Yeah, and then credits basically yeah. wrap up. We find out about how the Rand table was built and all this. Yeah. And for. A basically two hour movie. That was the plot. Yeah. <laughs> what I. So, things we like about the movie then? The music. Music. We both agree the music selection is a very good soundtrack. Yeah. I love that Celtic feel with. Uh, the Devil and the Huntsman song is my favorite song in that. Yeah. If you're wondering what that is, that's the drug trip song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It plays during the drug trip <laughs> Arthur has before going to fight the king. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and everything else was just spot on for music. Special effects were kind of okay-ish. Yeah, like... The fight scenes went too quick. It was just very hard to follow exactly everything that was happening. You knew, like epic stuff was going no, on. But, kinda... but, like, you didn't know exactly what happened. Right? Yeah. So, I had to dock a few points on the fight scenes, but the yeah. effects of the fight scenes are pretty good. Yeah. And the mage magic was a little off-putting. <laughs> I was like, that does not look like a fireball. No. <laughs> that looks like a CGI special effect is floating in your hand, quite literally. 
All right, because we didn't like the movie. Um, yeah, I'm hoping. Just because like I said, I don't know too much about the yeah the world legend, right? I got this movie because of who it stars. Yeah, someone from Sons of the Anarchy, right? Yeah, the main guy from Sons. Yeah, so <laughs> and Fair then enough. yeah, and then two balls into another act I like then the one that plays the boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even realize I'm watching it. I'm like, like that's not what I think it is, right? So I looked it up the first time I watched it. I'm like, holy oh, crap, I was right. It was an actor from the EastEnders. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like he looks like him. It can't be. I'll be damned. I'm like, ah, so that's why he has hair on the show. Yeah. <laughs> See this role. Yeah. Good for him. I mean, go from a bit of soap opera to a major production movie. That's yeah. a good step in my mind. Anyway. Yeah, right? But it seemed like they were looking for English sounding actors. Yeah, not... and Jax is. The main guy is British. Yeah. I, I didn't do that until I was watching. Was it Undeclared? Yeah. <laughs> it was the show it was in. It's like, oh, why the hell is. Was... That looks up. What a shit, he actually speaks... He's actually English. Yeah. Man, he can pull off an American accent pretty good. That's a talented actor right there. Yeah. Alright, so things we didn't like. Um, just like I said, like, the fight scenes could have been... Fight scenes could have been a little better. Yeah. Just... So quick. Yeah, I mean... Some things could have been explained a little bit more, or you could have dug into the lore a little bit better. Yeah, you mentioned this with, like, the reason why the, the father so, failed. So, this is what I understand. Again, I am not up to date with my King Arthur lore. Yeah. Or the lore of Excalibur. But from what I understand is that Excalibur is a sword that lets you win any conflict you're in. Yeah. As long as you don't spill innocent blood with it. In that fight scene, he cuts Arthur's hands, the father, yeah. when he takes the sword from him to defend him. Yeah. And that's still it's still in innocent blood. Yeah, because he didn't, like, you even see us. Like, the zooms in on it, kind of. Yeah. So, it, it, like, it, they made it look like it was an important... Yeah, but they didn't explain it. So they like, didn't explain it, so what was the fucking point? Right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure that's what that was supposed to hint at. Yeah. Like, but you, know, you were saying you thought that was. I'm like, you know what? I'll go with you. Yeah. Again, not up to my lore. I could be horribly wrong mm -hmm. on that fact, but that's what I always thought. So we can fact check Devin on this one? <laughs> I don't mind. I'll admit I'm yeah. wrong on this. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> and I'm just along for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> Billy doesn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> On this subject, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> As I was going to say, I, I should probably shut up, but we're doing the show that Billy's the knowledgeable one on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so final thoughts then on this movie. No, I mean, it's a shame that it bombed because it was supposed to be a series. Yeah, like, I was hoping it'd be a series, but it didn't do well in the box office, yeah. I hear. Which is a shame, but... Say la vie. Yeah. I imagine it came out against something else that yeah, like it's, just sold the show for no uh, reason. Like I said, I think it came out in the summer, which... 2017. Yeah, it was the summer of 2017, so... Yeah, there would have been... Oh, we'll just say a fucking Marvel movie. I was gonna say, I was like, I'm leaning towards there's a freaking Marvel movie came out at the same time. Yeah. Because, like, this is all like this. There's never a chance. I was like, oh, wait, what's it the play... In the movie theater. Marvel. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're screwed if your movie comes out at the same time a Marvel movie comes out. Yeah. Now. There's which, no hope. No, which is... That's sad. Which is sad. But my final thoughts are, it's a good movie, even if, like, you have a vague understanding of the knowledge of King Arthur. Yeah, like... Like, you can attest to that. You don't know anything no. about King Arthur. No, and I... Enjoyed. And like, and like I said, like I, I knew it was a fantasy movie going in because I'm like, well, King Arthur, I know it was a fantasy legend. story from fantasy England. story. So I'm like, you know what? 
Unless some English historian's like, no, King Arthur was real. What the? <laughs> the Merlin stuff and all that, that's made up of King Arthur himself was a real person. Which I want to believe. <laughs> right? Yeah, like this fabricated king of England. Great guy and all, but yeah. they were like, let's really, like, make his story epic. Yeah. <laughs> Because he deserves it. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that King Arthur's a fantasy tale. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, with that, though, we'll call the episode here. Yeah. So, thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, have a good one. Long live the king! Long! <laughs> uh, yeah, they will do that. Yeah, they'll look you. Yeah. Well, you tried. <laughs>